Hey guys, this is Ravens from DJ Integrity. Today we are going to see some interesting tech news in episode 223. The complete set of data in global quarter 3 smartphone shipments is in and it confirms Apple is back in second place behind Samsung. A total of around 325.5 million units were shipped in July September period which represents a 6 percentage decline compared to the same time last year. The big reason behind the fall in shipments is an ongoing global chipset shortage and Samsung shipped a total of around 69.4 million phones outpacing all other makers though the figure is less than 13 percentage its performance from a year ago. Samsung shipped a total of 69.4 million phones outpacing all other makers though the figure is 13 percentage less than its performance from a year ago. Apple managed to ship around 49.2 million units which is a 14 percentage increase on the yearly basis fueled by strong demand for its iPhone 13 series and sustained momentum from the iPhone 12 generation. And then Xiaomi rounds out the top 3 with the 44 million units, Oppo with 36.7 million units and Vivo with 34.2 million units. While Oppo saw a shipping of around 18 percentage more phones this quarter. According to a new report by the UK online retailer of refurbished electronics Music Magpie, gives an interesting data on how smartphone depreciation over 12 months. And unsurprisingly, Apple tops the chart followed by Samsung as their phones hold value better than the rest. According to the report, the average UK consumer changes his phone for every 16 months and that cost him about 50% of the old phone value. Apple devices seems to lose around 41% of their value in the first 12 months on average. that metric goes up to 60% after 24 months a samsung phone on the other hand loses 64% of its value in the first year of usage and the 77% after 2 years of usage Smartphone shipments in India dipped over 2% year on year to touch over 52 million units in the September quarter 3 2021. The decline can be ascribed to higher pent up demand last year owing to the current pandemic as well as a chip shortage. Online website captured around 55% of the smartphone shipments during the third quarter. Samsung Electronics said Thursday that it plans to triple its foundry production capacity by 2026 amid a global chip shortage disrupting production in key industries from autos to smartphones as it reported strong third quarter earnings. The world's biggest chip maker by sales said that it will expand its production lines in south of Seoul and may build a new factory in the US to meet rising demand for the chips that are made to order for corporate customers. The South Korean tech giant is working to raise its game in the foundry business and plans to make the components more cost effective. WhatsApp recently started rolling out its UPI based payment service. In India, WhatsApp is likely to face stiff competition from the likes of PhonePe, Paytm and many more. To overcome the competition, WhatsApp has started offering a cashback of rupees 51. Redmi Note 11 Pro and Redmi Note 11 Pro Plus will reportedly launch in India as Xiaomi branded smartphones. There is no mention about the rebranding of the vanilla Redmi Note 11 5G. Furthermore, there is no information as of now about the launch date of the smartphones in India. The two smartphones were launched in China earlier this week alongside the Redmi Note 11 5G. The Redmi Note 11 series is powered by a MediaTek chipset paired with up to 8 GB of RAM. All three smartphones also has an IP53 rated dust and water resistance. Xiaomi 12 unit was spotted on the subway train. Xiaomi 12 live images show the phone in a case which prevents a clear look at the phone's design. Xiaomi 12 launch is expected to be in mid December. The Mi 11 Ultra was launched in April in India and went on sale in the country starting July 7th. This smartphone listing has also been taken down from Xiaomi's official website. The phone stock was imported in India from China which is the main reason for its shortage here. Realme only recently launched the Realme GT Neo 2 while the predecessor of sort Realme GT 5G went official back in August. The company is still keen on expanding the GT lineup further and is now seemingly working on another model called the Realme GT Pro 2. According to the tipster, the Realme GT Pro 2 with the model number RMX3301 on the IMEI database. The listing date shows it is fresh and was posted only today. Infinix is set to enter the India's laptop segment. The brand had launched the Inbook X1 in Philippines earlier this month. Alongside Infinix will also debut the Note 11 series smartphones in December. 
द फ्यूचर पिक्सल सेवन इज एक्सपेक्टेड टू फीचर ए सेकेंड जनरेशन गूगल टेंसर प्रोसेसर द रिसेंटली लॉन्च इट पिक्सल सिक्स एंड पिक्सल सिक्स प्रो इंट्रोड्यूस गूगल सोन टेंसर चिप्स एट दिस न्यू चिप्स वेर क्रिएटेड विद एन असिस्ट फ्रॉम सैमसंग एंड आर ऑप्टोमाइज फॉर गूगल एक्सटेंसिव मशीन लर्निंग यूसेज इट एक्सलरेट एक्सिस्टिंग फीचर्स एंड एनेबल्स थिंग दट वेर नॉट पॉसिबल ऑन एनी पिक्सल फोन बिफोर In the past couple of weeks has seen a flurry of activities around the leading drone maker DJI. The tech startup was expected to launch three products in the coming weeks with the Mavic 3 drone leading the pack. However, the two products are already out, the DJI Action 2 camera and the DJI Cinema camera. While we wait the arrival of the Mavic 3 drone, the Chinese drone maker has now announced a fourth product, the DJI Mic. The portable mic is priced at 329 US dollars and can only be reserved right now. This DJI Mic offers an impressive features and functionalities it provides exceptional sound quality dual channel recording at a distance of up to 228 meters according to DJI the DJI mic is portable and is capable of providing up to 14 hours of onboard memory while its battery can last up to 15 hours with the DJI mic you can record high fidelity studio grade audio separately on each of its channels you can also combine the audio recording during the post production offering greater flexibility Thanks for watching this video please kindly support my channel by giving a like share and subscribe and follow Digi Integrity on Twitter Instagram and Facebook